I have seen the TED TV show twice now, and it may be some of the funniest television I have ever seen, and I'll even go as far to say that it may be funnier than both the movies. Anyways, I've been wanting to talk about this show for a while now, so in this video I'm going to be giving you my thoughts on the show, both positive and negative, but mostly positive, so let's get into this thing. So this show is set in the 90s and pretty much serves as a prequel to both of the Ted movies. It follows a younger Johnny and Ted as Johnny is going through his junior year of high school and all the shenanigans that both him and Ted got into during that year. We also have characters like Blair, who is Johnny's cousin, and she's a pretty cool character in this show. She kind of helps out with the shenanigans and pretty much covers for Johnny and Ted throughout this whole show. But without further ado, let's get into the positives of this show. Starting off with the positives, and obviously the first thing I have here is the humor. I mean, this show is just absolutely hilarious. If you're wondering if it's anything like Family Guy, 100% yes it is. These are pretty much just longer live action Family Guy episodes, and in my opinion, this show is way funnier than Family Guy. As far as the movies go, I would put this show over the second movie, but it's about on par as far as comedy as the first movie. I mean, this show really pushed the line and how far they went with comedy. It was absolutely hilarious. It was really edgy and there was multiple times in this show where I was like, wait, can they say that? Are they allowed to get away with that? And I also had to question, am I a bad person if I laugh at that joke? And this is pretty much the thought process I had throughout this entire show because there were plenty of jokes in this show that I was questioning whether I should laugh at it or not, even though the joke was absolutely hilarious. And this show really sets the tone in the very first first scene of the very first episode and right then and there you have to decide okay yes I'm gonna continue watching this show or no I'm gonna click off and go to something else and man I am so glad that I continued to watch this show and I recommend everyone continue to watch this show after the first scene because it is just full of laughs. There were plenty of jokes that referenced the movie and there were also some jokes that were just ripped right out of a Family Guy episode. Now Seth MacFarlane is known to push the boundaries of comedy and he does that in this show and it was just really refreshing to see that this type of comedy can still work in today's age. There was plenty of times where I was just dying laughing at what I was seeing on screen, so if you want a good laugh with some edgy humor, then this show is the show for you. Next for the positives is that I just love the sitcom approach that they took for this show. I thought it worked perfectly for this thing. Each episode was different as each one covered a different adventure that Johnny and Ted went on. I mean, it essentially just felt like this was a bunch of Family Guy bits mashed into one, but it worked so well. This was a sitcom that was set in the 90s and it felt like a 90s sitcom, which I appreciated. And I think taking this sitcom approach really just gave them the freedom to do whatever they wanted with each episode. There was no overarching story and very rarely did they go back and mention one of the previous episodes. So you could really watch each of these episodes on their own and enjoy them to their fullest. And I think that really just improves the rewatchability of this show because you don't have to watch one episode to understand another. You can just go back, pick out your favorite episode, watch it, and then move on with your day. And I think that is one of the strong points of this show. And honestly, I don't know why I'm acting surprised by this. At the end of the day, this is a Seth MacFarlane project and he has proven to be pretty good at the sitcom structure. And the last thing I have for the positives is the cast and the characters that they played. Now the entire cast in this show did great. And for the characters they played, they were each entertaining and they all had their own individual personalities that I thought blended really well on screen and only made this show better. And honestly, as funny and unserious as this show was, each of these characters got their own time to shine and had their moments of character development, which definitely surprised me because that is something you would not expect from a show like this. Max Burkholder in particular, I thought did great as Johnny. Now coming off the movies with Mark Wahlberg playing that role, it was really important to get this character right for this show to work, and I think they did a really good job at that. Max definitely felt like a younger Mark Wahlberg, but he also made this character his own, and it wasn't just a copy and paste from the movies. And obviously, Seth MacFarlane voicing Ted was perfect, and I just have to say, they really just casted this whole show great overall because all the actors and all the performances, as I said before, were really good. 
And finally, moving on to the negatives of this show. And personally, I don't think there were that many negatives because I really enjoyed this show from start to finish. But if I had to pick one, I could see some people saying that the lengths of the episodes bothered them. Now for me, I didn't mind how long the episodes were, but I could definitely understand why someone would be bothered by that because all of these episode lengths varied in time. I mean, the first one was 50 minutes. I think the shortest one got all the way down to 32 minutes. And that kind of led to some pacing issues in some of the episodes. I mean, this show could have easily been 12 to 15 episodes long if they would have cut up some of those longer episodes, but at the end of the day, for me personally, I do prefer longer episodes over shorter 30 minute episodes. However, I can understand that someone may be bothered by this because some of these episodes did feel a bit longer than they needed to be. But for my final thoughts, I will say that this show is a must watch. This is some of the funniest television I have seen in a while and the humor was refreshing. I think everyone would enjoy this show, especially if you like the Ted movies and Family Guy. Those are my thoughts on the Ted TV show. If you've seen the show, let me know what you thought of it down in the comments. And as always, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, get your easy apparel at shopeasyapparel.com. God bless and I'll see you guys later. Peace.